Hi guys, we are back, ready to work out. We've been spending a little more time working from home, so this is a great exercise that you can do with no equipment needed, just body weight. Um, and my amazing friend and trainer, Jaws, it's timed so that it's 10 minutes long and you can either do it one time through or you can repeat it twice, three times, depending on what your, uh, what your time is like. So. Let's get started. All right, set one. We're gonna do a minute of each of these exercises. Three exercises, a squat, a push-up, and a mountain climber. Feet are about shoulder width apart. 60 seconds. So the chest is up, the knees are driving out towards the pinky toes, so make sure you're not letting the knees plunk into the midline of your body. And keep the weight in the heels. Drive up and stand tall. you to be super careful about those knees. Don't let the knees go into the midline. You want to drive the knees out towards the pinky toes. If you have good mobility though, you can drop your hips pretty low when you're doing a squat. All right, let's get into our next exercise, push-ups. Let's do it. Let's walk out into a plank. Shoulders over the wrists. So you're keeping your body nice and still, your core, your quads, your glutes, everything's engaged. And you're dropping all the way down and all the way up as far as you can. Let's go. Elbows about 45 degrees away from the body. <laughs> it is a challenging exercise, especially 60 seconds of push-ups. Long time to be doing push-ups, right? Just make sure your hips are forward, your core is tight. <laughs> We're going into our next exercise. We're doing mountain climbers. So in that plank position, shoulders over the wrist, you're gonna drive your knees into your chest. Make sure that shoulder stays over top of that wrist. In three, two, one. All right, 30 seconds in between your sets. We're going into set two next. What would you say like is your biggest focus today? You train, you dance. Mm -hmm. I would sing as well. Josh, I did. No, oh, no, 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 we're not. No. But um, no, fitness for sure is my focus. I really love fitness. But I, I like the 360 degree approach to it, like the mental connection, the physical connection. And I like actually exploring the way fitness can just be like totally different, right? All right, so we're getting into set number two. Three exercises, a minute each exercise. We're gonna start with alternating reverse lunges. We'll go into a glute bridge, and then we're gonna finish on a hollow hold. Let's do it. All right, we're going for reverse lunges. So feet are together, we're gonna alternate sides. We're gonna take a step back and then come back up. So there's a 90-90 bend. 
My back knee is just gonna kick the ground. All the way back, all the way up. And I'm driving through that front foot to stand. You really wanna feel your weight on that front foot. Yeah, on that front foot, exactly. Oop. And that balance, right? When you lose the balance, it's important to remember that your core and your glutes help stabilize your spine and your pelvis. So if you're ever off balance, go back to the core, go back to the glutes. It's gonna help you stabilize. Just so we can get that full range of motion and we really have to drive off that front leg to stand. I'm gonna find these kind of exercises where it's full body. Mm -hmm. Actually, if you're not pulling your core, you're gonna be off balance. Yeah. It's kind of actually the best way to um, train yeah, it's such a good foundation for everything else you do. You can apply it to everything. We're going to transition into our next exercise, which is going to be a glute bridge all the way down to the ground. So let's take a seat. We're going to be on our back. Our heels are going to be fairly close to our glutes. The knees are going to stay parallel. Our hands are about 45 degrees. We're going to rise up, squeeze the glutes at the top. You really squeeze your glutes. You feel this in your hamstrings, your glutes, and you're driving through the heels. and really drive the heels into the ground and squeeze your glutes at the top. Five seconds, we'll go into our third exercise, the hollow hold. In two, one. All right, so for our hollow hold, we're gonna extend our legs out and our arms overhead. And I want you to keep your lower back on the ground. If you need to modify, you can always bring your hands down and your knees in. Otherwise, I want you to reach, 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 reach. And the shaking is okay. You keep breathing. Modify. <laughs> so that modification right there. Just make sure your shoulder blades are off of the mat if you are modifying, especially. Or you're here in a long, hollow position. With 60 seconds. 60 seconds. <laughs> it's also good to build a base for things if you're interested in doing like a handstand. This is a great way to build that base. All right, holding the hollow hold, extend. So shoulder blades off the ground, legs extended, lower back, hold it, hold it, hold it. For three, two, one. Woo, recover. All right, 30 seconds before we get into our final set. Set three, three more exercises of strength. Three. All right, yeah. So set three of exercises, each exercise for one minute. We're gonna do a lateral lunge, then we're gonna go into burpees, and then we're gonna finish on a plank hold. Let's do it. Hello. All right, so we're going into lateral lunges. We're gonna do 30 seconds on one side, then we'll step to the other end of the mat. We'll do 30 seconds on the other leg. So we're gonna step out, and you want your leg on that supporting side to be the one where the weight is on it, right? So you're pushing off that leg, you're sitting back into a chair, you're keeping your chest up. For this movement, you wanna be a little more conscious where the knee is going, but if you do have really um, good mobility in your ankles, it's not terrible if it's going past the other side. <laughs> So 
supporting leg you're stepping onto, you're driving off of it. Try to keep that other leg nice and straight. The exercise that everyone dreads is the burpee. And we're gonna give you a modification, of course, because we're all on a journey together. So we're gonna just step back, hands down, you're gonna step back, out, out, in, in, and then you're gonna stand. So hands down, out, out, in, in, stand. And pick up the pace, right? Do it nice and brisk. And then the full thing, the full shabam for your burpee, your hands are down, you drop all the way down to the ground, up, jump up at the top. to stay light, keep your core tight, try not to worm down to the ground. Five seconds, we're gonna go into our final exercise of plank hold. Let's go. Final exercise, walk out into your plank. We're gonna be on our hands, shoulders over the wrists. And I want you to just hold the plank right here. Draw your navel into your spine. And in your plank, you want to really engage your quads and your glutes, like you're turning everything on, right? If your uh, wrists start to hurt, it's a great modification to come down to the forearms. Yeah, don't let those hips drop down, dip down. Really think about keeping your navel in towards your spine. so impressed and so glad because sometimes like I want something that's a little more strenuous and this you feel it so one rep you'll feel it if you have time you can do two or three and really Jaws thank you so much thank this is you. a great exercise to be able to do no matter where you are even if you are stuck at home and for those of you who don't have time to do it now you can save this video and do it later which is a great way to uh, get that workout in and be motivated to join us in this routine. So thank you for watching and if you're not already subscribing, you sure as hell better subscribe. <laughs>